how's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Plymouth career mode and today we're going to get into the start of the League 2 season. Now at the end of the last episode this happens, Dominic Solanke accepted his contract, uh, what we offered was 800,000 plus Ruben Reed. but unfortunately we don't have enough money to complete this deal. So I've been doing some thinking and I've decided I'm not going to go for Solanke and instead I'm going to get Svensson. And we can't even get him. Well, that was the biggest fail ever. Flip. Well, okay then. So what I'm going to do instead is offer Ruben Reed. Straight up swap Ruben Reed, Sanders Svensson. Let's see what happens here. Because originally I offered 500 grand. That's all I offered. Okay, this could be a bit of an issue. Of course, now I've rejected that offer. Notts County want to sign Svensson. Yay. I hate it when that crap happens. And he's gone to Notts County. I hate myself. I'll tell you what, Marley Watkins looks like a very decent player. Gotta go for him. Uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's scout him actually before we do that. Um, so yeah, let's just advance on, and we have our first game in the League Two season. It's actually you know like a southwest sort of derby sort of thing we got going here we've got a game against yeovil let me just check on strikers here uh nah they don't look like my sort of strikers fred friday loving the name oh crap they're through and Beck has smashed it into the top corner. That is that is the first chance of the game. Oh man, it's been such a boring game so far, but Beck's just come out with a bit of quality. Who is that injured? That's Jake Jervis. He's still down. Yep. What a start. What a start to our first game. 1-0 down, and our best striker injured. <laughs> what a ball. Brunt, just chest it down, man. Harvey, that's nice. Wild, Wild made the run. How have you missed that? Yeovil through again, and that's a penalty. What is wrong with me, man? This is, a, this is the worst possible start. I could have had to this episode. We miss out on two strikers. We get our best striker injured and we're probably going to be 2-0 down. Yep. Oh, so you're seeing him. Brunt. Right, cross it in and do a good job. Oh, half the worry. I need to sign this guy. Right. Read. What the... Wait, no. Now you now can you see why I want to get rid of Ruben Reed? He can't do anything. Nelson, just head it back to the keeper. I said back to the keeper. It's a corner now, you flipping idiot, mate. Oh, what ball? Ruben Reed. Right, let's not cross it in because it never works. Reed, carry the sub, Ugh, it's just not my game is it, it's just not my game, oh hold on, no, it's definitely not my game, and thank god it's ended, and if, and if things couldn't get any worse, Jake Jervis is out for, f for a month pretty much, oh my days, just give me a break, so I'm going to try something that I've, did in, uh, that I've done in my Road to Glory career mode off of YouTube in my Portsmouth one. And that is I'm going to offer Solanke a two-year loan with a future fee. Because if I get him on a two-year loan, he's gonna, his overall is going to go up. And he'll be worth more than 800000 in two years. We have an offer for Ruben Reed. I did transfer list him. I didn't show you this bit. I did transfer list him. But just look at how much money I'm going to get. This is something I have done before, which is sell the best player in the club. Because it gets you money and it gets you players that aren't necessarily as good now, but will be so much better in the future. So I am going to sell Ruben Reed. 
I'm sorry if any Plymouth fans actually watch this, and he's probably your best player, but I'm, he, has been, he has done nothing for me, and what he has done has been absolutely terrible. So we've got a, a Capital One Cup game at home to Luton. Uh, I'm not going to play it. I really can't be bothered. Capital One Cup means nothing to me right now. And we lost anyway. That is more than likely Ruben Reed's last game for the club. But, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not through to the next round. We wouldn't get very far anyway, would we, at this point? What's the email? They've rejected it. Uh, they're going to politely decline to, to, to do business. I'm going to set it to 900,000 then, because I can. To be honest, guys, I just want to get this transfer window out of the way. So I'm going to sim this game against Carlisle as well. We're at home. That's why I'm simming it. The next game is away at Luton, so I'm not going to sim that. And we've lost. And now Ruben Reed's injured as well. Oh, this is getting better and better. We've lost every single game in the league so far or in the season. Ruben Reed's out for seven days. The test won't sell me Solanke to save their lives. And Marley Watkins has just joined Barnsley. So I can't get him. Seriously, the test, you're getting right on my nerves. Just let him go. I'll go up to 1.2 million. Hopefully we have that kind of money in two seasons. That'd be nice. I don't know what the hell happened to the Ruben Reed to Preston deal, but Birmingham have now offered for him. And I'm going to counter off the 400,000 this time because that's what he's worth. I didn't think about that last time. I don't know what happened to the one to Preston. I, it just vanished into thin air. So we've got a game against Luton with a weakened strike force. We've got Brunt and Tanner up front. And I think Tanner's on a short loan as well. Uh, I only found that out the other day. Uh, because in real life, they've just extended his loan to the end of the season, so... Yeah. So yeah, that's a good cross. But <laughs> can't be met by Tanner, who is really small. So Nini, get a good one in. That's a better one. That's a better one. The two new signings combining, it's Christian Bielik with the goal. Our first goal that I have actually scored myself this season. And it's the first thing Christian Bielik has done in four games. I haven't seen his name at all. Wild. Use the pace. Use the pace. Use it then. There we go. What a ball. Harvey. It's Harvey this time. It was pretty much a carbon copy of the last goal. Oh, that's nice. That's well spotted from Bruns. Go on, Tanner. Go on, Tanner. You get, go on, Tanner. Get him. Yes. Low cross. Oh, after all that. Okay, whatever. Right, let's just cross it in from the corner this time. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's a good one. Straight at Tyler. Luton doing some really good passing here. Uh, how the hell did they manage to get that close from that? Luton pressing now. Oh my gosh, Guthrie just Guthrie hitting the bar. Heady back in. Jervis, run. Run, Jervis, run. Run, Jervis. Yes, Jervis. Yes, Jervis. Oh he, oh, he got the wrong side of him. Doesn't matter. Full time, and we win our first game of the season. I think Vitesse have been unsure for long enough, so I'm going to look for someone else to sign instead of Dominic Solanke. 350 is all Birmingham are willing to offer. So, yeah, I'm accepting it. I'm, I'm Like, how can I not accept it? So what I've done is I've inquired and going to scout a few League 2 strikers, and I inquired about Shea McCartan. And Jordan Slew, the forgotten beast, or rather, the the former beast. He used to be beast until he joined Vale, of course, where he was a complete flop. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan Slew. And they both asked him for 140,000, which is very good. I mean, look at Jordan Slew's wage, 750 quid, and Shay McCartan's wage as well. And they both look like very decent strikers. But I'm going to wait until 
you know, wait until deadline day, pretty much. Got another transfer offer for Ruben Reed. What is with this? Like, is the Birmingham one going to go through, or is it what? What's happened? It, it, all these Ruben Reed deals just keep on disappearing into thin air. Here's a striker that I've scouted. It goes Ugru. He looks all right. Hey, he looks decent. He looks fairly decent, actually. Um, yeah. Oh, he's just joined. Flip. Rotherham, please sign him. You probably, Rotherham probably would use him. Deadline day has begun and we got another offer for Ruben Reed. this time from MK Dons. I've accepted four offers now. And no one signed him and I'm going to make offers for these two. Shane McCartan and Jordan Slew. Both of them worth 140000 they both accepted. John Slew wants 950. <laughs> Fair enough. And what about Shay McCartan? 1,100. I think we know who's going to be better then. I don't, I don't know. They both accepted. Oh my god. Uh, McCartan. I'm signing McCartan. Shay McCartan. Done. Jordan Slew. Sorry, mate. You know, used to be a beast, but now you are crap. And you're only 22 still. Let's have a look at Shea McCartan. He is 59 rated, just like I said. 91 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. Hey, he's not too bad, you know. Let's carry on with deadline day. See if Ruben Reed leaves the flipping club. I, I know I sound really passionate about wanting him to leave. I'm not that passionate, but I'm just... If he's, he's just going to be sitting there chewing up my money... Because I ain't going to be using him. What's this? Transfer offer for Ruben Reed. 475 from Preston. Preston already offered for him. Just sign him. He's transfer listed already. Just sign him. It's deadline day. Hopefully, he's not dead. Hopefully, he just goes. Please, 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 please. Please tell me that's Ruben Reed gone. No. No. This is glitch. This is... This is a glitch. Now, MK Dons, another team that I've already offered, are wanting to pay more. Like, what? Okay, this cream has glitched. I've got six emails, what? Oh, it'll be youth, won't it? Transfer deadline day has ended. Ruben Reed is destined to be at Plymouth for life. I'm just going to say that. So, we'll do these scouting updates quickly. A, he's good. He's not. Then he's not. Okay. Scoose. He's not. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Oh, hell yes, goalkeeper. So, McKilduff, 52 rated. Smelt, 51. Okay, fair enough. So, that is going to be the end of the video. I'm sorry if it was so long, but don't worry. We're going to fly through the games now. There's not going to be any more simulating games. Well, at least until the January transfer window. But that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. And subscribe for more Plymouth Career Mode. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. See you in a bit.